Hi guys, I don't know about you, but I'm starting to see a real pushback by journalists, even those at the BBC, against some of the rubbish Tory MPs and ministers have been trying to spread during the general election. Fibbing about tax cuts, about house building numbers and funding to the NHS is actually challenged, which is absolutely necessary. Here host Joe Coburn held Kevin Hollenrake's feet to the fire as his party laid out its manifesto for the election. He struggled and struggled badly. Have a listen. We're a party of lower taxes. Well, that's a direction Kevin, we're I'll going. interrupt you there. I'll choice. interrupt you there because you're not a party yeah. of lower taxes. Now, you may have reasons to explain it, but you're not a party of lower taxes under the last few Conservative Prime Ministers. Taxes have gone up for the majority of people because of those frozen tax thresholds. That's 100% correct. You know, the, the Tories have increased taxes. They've increased the burden, the tax burden on people as well. There's a higher tax burden than in 70 years, I believe. So on the one hand, the Conservatives would say, well, we have to increase taxes because of the pandemic or because of the war in Ukraine or because of whatever. But at the same time, they'll say, actually, we're the party of low taxation. Well, you can't have it both ways. £12 billion pounds worth of savings that you have earmarked to pay for this have already been allocated in the budget by Jeremy Hunt. It looks as if you are not going to have the money to fund this two pence cut when you've already allocated the savings, uh, and we don't know if you'll deliver those savings, of course, um, on other things. Oh, we don't believe that. We believe there are ways we can make efficiencies. In, in, the, uh, in the manifesto, it sets out 36,000 fewer civil servants. You've we had can... eye-catching. This idea that you just cut civil servants to save money this is cutting public services to save money. This is austerity. When the Tories talk about, well, you know, there's waste or there are civil servants who are not doing anything, we get rid of those. Why, are you, why would you plan to get rid of them to save money in the future if you could get rid of them now? Obviously, they can't get rid of them now because they're necessary. This is just a lie policies on national service, on closing Mickey Mouse degrees, on the pensioner triple lock plus, and now this two pence. But all of those policies I've just announced haven't changed the polls. So what's going to change? Well, this isn't about the polls for us. It's about oh. doing the right thing. Well, how are you going to win right then to if you don't out, change the right polls? Set, this is, these are... These are tax cuts for workers, for employed no, people. No, I understand that, but that's Tra not my question. 27 Kevin, million I'm so people. sorry, but that's not my question. What I'm yeah. saying is the policies you've already announced have not moved the polls. They've not narrowed with Labour. They're still 21, 22 points ahead of you. Of 2,000 so <laughs> We don't care about the polls. But your policies are not changing the polls. Like I've said before, if the Conservatives really wanted to win, they should do something for ordinary people. They're doing nothing for ordinary people. They're pretending to do stuff for ordinary people, and they're pretending to do stuff for ordinary people in the future. But if you actually done something now that helped people, then you'd actually have a chance of holding on to some more seats. You're not going to win. I think it's a catastrophe waiting to happen. But you could actually hold on to a few seats. If you'd done something now, something not promise to do something in the future. What you're doing is you're saying, what we'll do is we'll hire loads of police officers that we haven't done so far. We could have hired them, but we didn't. We'll do it in the future. We're going to reduce taxes. We've actually increased taxes, but don't worry if you vote for us, we'll lower taxes. Look, once again, lower taxes mean less money for public services, which is a problem. So this idea of reducing taxes does not help but they sell it as a benefit. Pounds more per household than you'll see under a Conservative Well, of government. course, and that's been challenged and disputed. In fact, Jonathan Ashworth repeated that it's a lie. Under but what... It is a lie. But unfortunately, where the journalists do fall down is that they don't challenge the Conservatives on their own tax plans, which would actually increase taxes on families, working families, by £3,000. Now, the people have already faced an extra £13,000, I believe, since 2019. So the Tories have increased people's taxes by 13,000 and they're trying to sell this idea, don't vote for the Labour Party because they might increase them by 2,000 when their own figures would result in a £3,000 increase. Conservative governments and under this one too, it's become harder to get on the housing ladder. That is under the Conservative government, Margaret Thatcher's home-owning democracy. It sounds like it's dead. Well, there's no doubt there are problems with housing market. Why would people, so people particularly people young people, home. trust you with improvements in housing when we've had the Prime Minister admit it's harder 
under Conservative governments to get on the housing ladder. Well, we are seeing an increase. There was a record number of first-time owners actually entered the market. No, but he's admitted it's harder. Why, why would people trust you to well, improve well, it? There, there are difficulties. We're not yeah. saying well, there are there are not difficulties. On your watch, We've... on your watch, you can't say, "Look, <laughs> vote for us." even though we've made it more difficult because we promise to build more houses in the future. We haven't built enough sufficient house. Now, they will talk about record housing, uh, record numbers of houses built. They'll talk about record numbers of first-time buyers. That's irrelevant. What's important is, is it enough? Obviously, it's not enough. Otherwise, this wouldn't be a problem. This would not be an issue. This would not be something that young people are talking about. If there was sufficient housing... Nobody will be talking about a housing crisis. So there's no point saying, well, we have record numbers of people who are first-time buyers and we're building a record number of houses. It, it's irrelevant. But that the Prime Minister yesterday said, well, there, there isn't sufficient housing. Uh, there are, young people are struggling to get on the property ladder. And yes, it's, it's worse under our, our administration. Why should somebody vote for more of that? See, this is the problem. The Conservatives don't seem to understand. They have been in power for 14 years. They're trying to sell the idea of the incumbency. They're trying to sell the idea that you should stick with us. Don't vote for something you don't know. Don't vote for the devil you don't know. Vote for us. But people are tired of you. You have not delivered. You said that you would build record numbers of houses. You're claiming that you do. But it's not enough. You said that you would fix the NHS. You haven't done that. You said you would fix social care. You haven't done that. You said you would hire enough police officers. You haven't done that. You've gutted public services. And now you're talking about, well, we're going to reduce taxes and we're going to pay for it through cuts to public services. Let's call a spade a spade here because when they say get rid of civil servants, they're talking about cuts to public services. They have nothing. Just empty promises saying, please vote for us and we'll continue doing exactly what we're doing now, which is sweet FA, but we will actually do stuff in the future. We will actually fix the problems that we've ignored over the last 14 years. Believe us. Trust us. Well, the public won't. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.